Hey everybody, and welcome to uh, What's a Mountain Today, number one of the New England Barn Renovation. Uh, so here we are at Colored Spots uh, Creative, and now uh, we're in the barn. And so this barn is attached to the New England Farmhouse. It was all part of uh, our purchase uh, of this property here. And it, what it amounts to is split into three levels and then two different sections. And so here is the staircase into the, the farmhouse. Uh, and then this is the first bay here. And then through this little partition wall here, we come into the second bay, and this is where the wood shop is. Uh, if uh, you didn't catch the tour the last time, well, these stairs here bring us up uh, to the top of the uh, uh, barn, which is the hayloft. And uh, Liz has been using it as her artist studio up here. And uh, it's, it's a beautiful space. It's lofted. All of this mortise and tenon beams, I mean, 1880s same time frame it was built as the main house uh, we do have a, a little bit of a structural issue uh, with one of the jack rafters there uh, that's cracked but uh, in well in buildings of this age uh, they do tend to bow out so we've got an aircraft cable that's uh, drawn the two walls back together at the same time uh, we're pushing up on that jack rafter uh, just trying to take some weight off of it and uh, over the course of 135 years uh, there has been some sagging there has been uh, some ballooning but when we moved into the place we had it thoroughly inspected uh, and they determined that you know just the, the the construction of it it was not an immediate worry so the process we're doing here of drawing in the walls and pushing up on that rafter to kind of push it back in that's going to be uh, that's going to be a long game because after 135 years uh, well, we've got to do what amounts to uh, probably a crank a month on the turnbuckle and a twist on uh, that uh, lolly column over there just so uh, we can slowly bring it back. You don't want to do it all at once. Uh, it's taken so long to get to this point. You basically do it till you hear a little bit of a groan and then let it settle. So this will take about the course of a year uh, to really kind of get that shifted back in, in which case we're going to uh, reinforce uh, that rafter. Uh, and then reinforcing the rafter, we're not really going to have to worry about it probably for another 130 years or so. Uh, but the project we're talking about right now is we're talking about a renovation of the barn. So right now the farmhouse and the barn, well they're two separate spaces and we're going to combine them all into one space. So I've got a couple of drawings here. This is really uh, Liz's uh, vision for this and taking this very first bay here and turning it into, well, a bit of a common area, a bit of a utility room, a uh, laundry room, just really something to service the barn. So we're gonna have a bathroom, we're gonna have a washer dryer, we're gonna have a sink, uh, we're gonna have things that really kinda uh, make this more of a commercial space. And the biggest thing we're gonna do is we're gonna insulate it. So we're gonna insulate it and bring heat into it, which we don't really have right now. Well, we got a shot right here of uh, the thermostat, so it's about 24 degrees, and it's really open to the elements. So, so when we got in here, there was some insulation in the back here. There was no drywall. Uh, we did get the wood stove uh, installed, uh, which is supplying us a bit of heat, and it's pretty much free heat because it's all the cutoffs from our boards over there. So as we do projects, we keep getting more and more heat, um, but it just goes from here straight up into the rafter and then from the rafter out into space so it's not very efficient so we're going to take and part of this whole renovation is we're going to build a wall here uh, we've got some great doors that we've salvaged from the, the newton mudroom project um, and those doors are going to go here and it's all going to get enclosed uh, the floor is going to get insulated uh, it's going to get drywalled we're going to put drywall up over here and then uh, probably put another wall here as we go on this renovation so well we're starting the renovations this is day one uh, we're just going to put some walls in now we do have some cold weather colder weather coming up uh, single digits uh, below zero type stuff so we're just going to try to get this all uh, uh, enveloped so we've got a little bit more uh, well more controlled environment to work in uh, out here we can see that the, we've had our delivery of, of drywall uh, that's a mixture of five eighths uh, inch drywall and half inch drywall for uh, the ceiling and uh, the biggest component of this renovation uh, aside from really getting a nice warm space to work 
is going to be the reworking of this staircase here as you come out of the farmhouse. So it's going to come down. Uh, that back door leads to the backyard, which eventually is going to become the main entrance. And then this staircase is going to continue and then sort of split and then go into the upper section up there. So uh, on the half bay, which is directly above this, uh, in the hayloft, that's going to get walled in and insulated. Uh, and then uh, we're going to have heat run up there so that that can become, uh, a, well, Liz's year-round artist studio. Because right now, it's only really good for the summer. So that's it, day one. Uh, we'll take you along this project. It's kind of our first project this year. And uh, yeah, uh, check back in. We'll see you all then.